And just the other day, I was doing a radio interview with a guy I've known for many, many years. And uh, one of the questions he asked me, he says, Al, why do you keep doing what you're doing? And I thought about it for about three seconds. And, and I said, 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 because I don't know how to really do anything else. There's two important parts of my daily life besides my family. And uh, uh, it's fishing, the fishing industry, and the Word of God, the Bible. And uh, uh, both of these elements, fishing in the industry and the Word, are part of my every single day life. Uh, uh, and I, I share it in all these closings on the television show since day one. I've combined both of them with real life experiences of, of other people and myself. And I get numerous, numerous emails and in, in, in notes and letters and comments like this. The vast majority of them are uplifting. Uh, and that keeps me going. It's really what motivates me. I want to read one of them to you. I kind of going to take snippets out, out of it so it don't take so long. I met you one time in 1999 in Sioux Falls, Ontario at the Maple Leaf Motel. You and Ron were there to fish a smallmouth tournament over the Labor Day weekend. I was there musky fishing. One of the nights at the hotel, I remember you witnessing to me and gave me your testimony on how Christ changed your life. You likely would never remember me, but I never forgot what you said about Christ being the best thing that ever happened to you. He saved your life. I devoted my life to Christ and was baptized on July 3rd. I no longer lived the life I lived before. I'm close to finishing my ordination to be a pastor in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and have been discipling other men to know the Lord and Savior through sharing the great outdoors like yourself. I just wanted to reach out and thank you for your obedience. You're a great inspiration and fellow brother in Christ. My four children also love to watch your fishing show and are avid anglers themselves. I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart and may God bless you richly now and in eternity. Lord bless Dean Kramer. All I can tell you, it, this isn't giving me a big head. I'm not he here to, to pat myself on, uh, 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 on the back. It's things like this and a whole lot more that keep me going. This is why I do what I do and in many cases why I close these shows the way they are. The impact that I've been blessed and fortunate enough to put into people's lives, I don't take lightly. I take that responsibility seriously. Hey, from all of us here at the Edge, you have a good fishing season. We'll see you in the water. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets.